What's going on, guys? It's your boy John for the Gary here. Welcome you back to another special episode of the Saga Lock. Hopefully, y'all are having a phenomenal, nominal, nominal day, um, such as myself. Um, yeah, today we have some scary fights. Uh, Verdant Cavern, Hapu. I think we actually fight Hapu like pretty much immediately too. Um, Hapu's like, oh, I'm the trial now, Captain, and uh, now uh, I actually am important. And we're just like, what the heck, Hapu? Like, we just got to know you, and now you're important for some reason. <laughs> it's essentially Hapu's MO. Just wants to be important. Poor Hapu. Um, anyways. Um, because we're getting into some important trainer fights, I'm going to, um, lead with Pyduck. Because, uh, it's Pyduck, guys. And Pyduck has been showing off. So, if you want to show off, you can show off. Okay, Pyduck, it's fine. Go ahead and show off. But we have one person that has a team of one and one person that has a team of five and then Plumeria and then, because I think we fight her as well. So it's just like boom, 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 boom. And then we have Hapu. So like, it's just a gauntlet, a boss gauntlet essentially is what we're doing today. So yeah, good luck everybody because somebody's going to die. <laughs> oh, I have it on four, uh, 4K. So hopefully nobody dies. I just thought about that. I was like, wait a minute. It's not 4K right now. <laughs> That'd be... Uber bad if somebody died, but you know what? It actually would happen, though. Honestly, I feel like it's very likely <laughs> just because of what we're doing. Anyways, Ace Trainer has a Weavile. Oh, great. So last episode, we learned that Weavile has Wonder Guard. So that's wonderful. Good to know. It also has Ice Hammer and a bunch of stuff like that. So we got to figure out what to do and how we're going to kind of go about that because... Naturally, our very first fight is going to be with somebody that has that. So, let's see. Yeah, let's figure out what we're going to do. Oh, we have Dazzling Gleam. Ha! Huh? Look at that, Pyduck. <laughs> Pyduck having, like, the perfect thing for the situation. Couldn't be Pyduck. No way Pyduck has something good for the situation. Didn't even think about that. I was like, okay, Pyduck, you do you. But, yeah, Pyduck, as, you know, as it would, as it would be, has literally the perfect situation stopper. So, that's cool. Good job, Pyduck. Thank you for being amazing in ways that we never anticipate you being amazing in. So, yeah, Pyduck's got this that handle. You go, Pyduck. Let's go. Let's go, Pyduck. Let's go. Hashtag Pyduck's the best duck. I mean, come on, guys. It's Pyduck. You, y'all know Pyduck's just that good. Pyduck is a bomb. Okay. I cannot believe I lost. Oh my gosh. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna give it all my 200%. I actually thought that this was gonna be a squad battle one time. I was like, at, at one point, I was like, oh no, squad battle alert. Where? Because the squad battles in uh, the sixth generation. Um, and oh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire because this looks like it'd be perfect for like that kind of a squad battle But it's not and you're just like, okay Um, Clavarius It's a Mega B drill which is sketch. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Mega B drill is a very sketchy Pokemon King shield. Oh look at that. That's nothing. It's gonna go for it again. I think though powder No, but that makes it so if you use a fire move it'll bounce back at me Luckily, I don't have fire attacks, so sorry, Mega B Drill, but that was pointless. Hashtag pointless attack. Yay's level 50. Quagsire. I don't have a grass to move on. Snuggle Bop. Um. I'm going to go with Pyduck, and then I'm going to just Scald and hope for a Scald burn or something. That seems like the play. It's neutral. Oh, we got it. The C word. Nice. Defense spell. That's fine, because we're faster and Scald is uh, going to kill from that range for, like, guaranteed. 
Dude, I'm feeling like lackadaisical today. I don't want to do things. I'm just like, okay, this is going on. A braviary. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go Bry. Because Bry has Ice Fang. I don't have an electric or rock move. Yeah. Flying types are kind of annoying for me to deal with right now. Like, yes, I have ice, but it's not that effective. <laughs> Especially because it's Ice Fang of all moves. Sketch. Oh, you're going to copy it. Cool. Okay, then. But at least you confirm that you are slower. So we're going to Ice Fang again. Critical. Bry got another kill. Honestly, Bry is one of those weird Pokemon that you're like, is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? Like, I still don't know about Bry Lunala. I don't have a dark type move, which is really awkward. Um, hmm. Clavarius is probably my best bet. Lunala is a tough Pokemon to fight, though. That's actually a really good. Uh, it's a really good thing for them to have. It's unfortunate. Oh, especially a defense raising one. Yikes. Um, strength is not terrible. That's that's fine. If it wants to use strength because of the other two. Like, I went into Quivarius because of the resistances also. Am I, am I just noticing the curly Q on the Q? I think I'm just noticing the curly Q on the Q. What? It's like written like this. Like a loop-de-loop, -loop almost. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not like out of the ordinary or out of this world, but it's something that I'm not used to seeing, so therefore I'm commenting on it. Um... Also, I'm going to turn down because for some reason it wants to be extremely loud. And I don't know why. Pinex level 53. It's Nick. Nick, 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 Nick. We love Nick. Bry. Honestly, Bry, Bry, you're the ground type stab. Okay. You have the best one. This is your duty and due diligence, Bry. Especially when you can take out flying types with it, too. It's like, oh, 100% accurate, and I can take out flying types. Yup, definitely gonna do that. Like, Thousand Arrows. Just that great of a move. Wow, I just lost. I can't believe it. I'm not giving up. You girly. Lily, right? You ready to do this finally? To be honest, I've treated you really, really badly. And even if I was just doing work and the president told me to, I shouldn't have done all that. Even now, I apologize. I know it's probably too late for you to forgive me, though. See, Guzma, he really, really likes the president. She's the only adult who seemed to see how strong he was. My mother, she's selfish. She lavishes her love only on those she deems worthy, not caring whether or not it's wanted. But I will save her. I still have something I need to tell her. But I think I can save Guzma as well. Ah, uh, you're not going to be the one that's doing that. You're kind of like the president deep down. You've gone in a different direction, but I can tell you have the same strength in your convictions. Bring Guzma. Booz Guzma. Yes, bring the booze. <laughs> no, don't, because I won't drink it. If you can, I know you've got no reason to help, but no one can make up for what they've done if they're gone. And you, Gwen, looks like you were special after all. You even took on the darker or darkness inside of Aether. 
Looks like you're the real deal. The realest Pokemon trainer I've seen around. Take good care of the little princess here. This is my way of saying sorry. Okay, take it. It's the poison AMC. You got your stone from Tapu Coco. Take care of it. I, I didn't, we don't actually fight Plumeria. Okay, I was wrong. I was dead wrong, which means that we're going to have time to get through Verdant Cavern. Because I just got healed. Thank you, Lily. I, Vast Pony Candy and not Verdant Cavern. What? Where is Verdant Cavern from? That's a good question. So where the heck is Verdant Cavern from and where am I thinking of it from? Oh, nice. $20,000. Like, we needed that one. Okay. I like Pyduck leading. I still like Pyduck leading. Pyduck has gained the ability to do that. Yep, here we go. The Habu fight. Oh my gosh. Did everything go well? Oh yes, yes it did. Though Gwen had to help me out with all sorts of trouble like usual. Nothing wrong with that. People cannot survive on their own. They have to get help one another out. Same for the Pokemon, too. That's what my grandfather used to say, at least. I would like to see this battling feel of yours, Gwen. I'm going to fight you and be your first totem ever. I'm the grand trial already. I, Kahuna Hapu, will accept your challenge and give you the ground DMZ if you win. Oh my gosh, Hapu. What? Literally, you just became a Kahuna. You're like, I'm going to fight you now, by the way. It's like, okay. Cactron. Oh, it's it's Jonas. Okay, good to know. Good to know who we're fighting. Thank you. Um, Glad we know that information. Because that means this fight's going to be annoying. Because Jonas is actually a good Pokemon trainer. That's fine. Um, hmm. Quivarius is the play. I mean, honestly, here's the thing. It doesn't matter how good of a Pokemon trainer you are. <clears throat> but my team is just overwhelmingly strong. Overwhelmingly strong, so... I don't care. You can lower my... You can lower the attack all you want to. It makes no difference to me. Can and you're first, so you're not even getting any benefit from this. Okay, cool. I'm fine with this. I complimented you as a Pokemon trainer, and you went easy on me, and I appreciate that, because you're going to send out a Primal Kyogre or something ridiculous, and I'm going to have to work around it. It's fine. It's, it's just fine. It's it's totally okay. Definitely not scared at all. Um, hmm. Luxray. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? Hey, yay. Do you want to take that out? Actually, no. As much as I would love you to take that out, Bry has the better ground move. And again, Bry is the designated Electro-type killer. <laughs> So, come on, Bry. Although you are lower level than Hapu is now, so that's great. Oh, hit him on top. That's not a 2 KO. No way it is. Okay. Already pulling this whole swap game. Um, and I don't like that. I have, Oh, I have Psychic Fangs. No, I'm not risking that. Excuse me, John. You do not need to think about risking things. Especially when you have Quivarius with a flying type move. A healing flying type move at that. Trying to go the debuff route. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Hapu going this debuff route. Ugh, smart play. But Hapu going this whole let me debuff you route seems odd. I mean, that almost worked. Dynamic Punch would have sucked to do or deal with, but it would not have killed. Okay, Luxray's coming back. I'm okay if she decides to, sw uh, to swap, knowing who I'm in with. I can see her saying no. Yeah, okay, she's saying no, because... Oh, there it is. There it is. I knew it. I knew that some random BS was going to come out at some point. I called that. But, Bry's going to just do the do? No, Bry's not faster than this. Yup. Good job, Bry. <laughs> if, 
We we all knew if somebody was gonna die, it would be a Bry. Um, but here's the thing: I couldn't I couldn't just actively send in Pyduck. There was no way. No way I could actively send in Pyduck in that situation without a free switch and losing out on. Oh my gosh, Pyduck's actually gonna get her a lot. Why? 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 This is why I couldn't send out Pyduck immediately. <laughs> so, yeah, you know what? I kind of feel like I made the... I kind of feel like... I feel like I made the right play there. Honestly, I did. I, I made the right play there. Uh, I, I, I hate to say it that losing Bry was the right play. Because it just feels wrong. But... If he did that much to Pyduck... Like, I could have gone into, like, Satan, yes. But also, doesn't sound like the greatest of ideas either. Naturally, we're gonna we could get an encounter too, and I gotta be like I don't know what I want to add to the team now. That's true. I don't know what I want to add. Oh my gosh! Stop doing this. Oh, I have heat wave for this. We're fine. This will do the chip damage I need just in case it has something stupid, like sturdy or something. Hmm. What do I want to add to the team? Sazbug. That's fine. Normal grass. Bye. Poor thing. I'm hitting you with a special attack. <laughs> oh, great. You have Thousand Arrows yourself. That's great. And then the last mon is the Luxray that she keeps popping swaps with. Bruh, what are you doing? Hapu, excuse me. Like, yes, you took away a mon. And, you know, good job. Good on you for doing that. But still. Like, what are you doing, Hapu? Like, Snuggle Bob finally wants to learn a grass move, but of course, it's literally the grass move that is a recharge move. No, Snuggle Bob. Oh my gosh, girl. Snuggle Bob. Well, it finally happened. I did finally lose him on because of Primal Crowd on. But, like, that that's still such a dangerous mon. Especially when she's, like, awkwardly popping swaps. It's like, oh, I don't know if I want to switch into it, how I want to deal with it. And, you know, like I said, I feel okay because I would have lost Pyduck otherwise. And, uh, heck no! Do I want to lose Pyduck? So, um, yeah, don't want to lose Pyduck. So if my options were between losing Bry and losing Pyduck, I'd think losing Bry was the better of the two. We already had a ground type in Yay. Here's where we have to make the decision, though. The decision becomes, do we add one now? Or do we just choose whatever we get as her encounter? I've got some... Oh, or I could just repels. You know what? That's actually what I'm going to do. For the sake of uh, preservation of time, I should have like 10. I think it was 10. And it should ask me if I want to use another when it's that time. We gotta be careful. Here, take more max revives that you don't need. Lily, can you just heal me? I'm here for you to heal me. Thank you. 
<laughs> the whole point is for you to heal me right now. And we have Pyduck in the lead. That's fine. Actually, no, it's not. Pyduck's so high leveled that we need to get somebody else in the front. Yeah, Pyduck's level 54. Jeez, Pyduck. And we gotta move Bry to the to the bottom spot so that Bry doesn't get used because Bry Bry be dead. Bry be dead dead. <laughs> But yeah, let's see how well we can avoid things. I'm sure that... I know there's, like, actual fights you have to fight, like this dude here. But there's not many other than that dude. So I think we can actually get to that. Chai Mecco. Chai Mecco is actually... Like, I don't know. I'm, now we gotta kind of think and debate on what we want to add and how we want to add things to the party. Because, honestly, it could... It's a two-way street here, right? Because it you could... In theory, or I, we could in theory add Bro, uh, a Daryl, Bry. We could add Bry. No, of course we can always add Bry. But we could add Daryl simply because Daryl has one regard. Ouch! And one regard has one is not a bad thing to have for a couple episodes. Is like buffer barrier for this next upcoming fight that's going to be in the mid fifties. But also. Hmm. That actually might be the play, is adding Daryl. Because Daryl's like level 43, so it'll be easy for me to train him up. But also, if we get a lower level Pokemon, then we can train it at Volcanion. Oh boy. If we get a lower level Pokemon, <laughs> we could then train it up EV wise as well I guess you can do that with the upper level Pokemon you just have to upper level them in the ground in a different grass which is not as fun but it's doable I still cannot believe that we literally do less than half to most mons it's insane it's like Shadow Ball is one of the strongest ghost type moves yet still <coughs> um. It's like, what the heck? Okay. That's literally how it feels. It's like, what the heck, guys? Oh, crap. I did not successfully avoid. We gotta remember, we gotta successfully avoid. And on the Tauros, it's not as easy. Aegis Slash. Um. Well, we're leading with Quivarius, because of course we are. <laughs> Grassy Surge. Come on out, yay. Atomize. Let's make my fast book one uh, that my already fast book one even faster. Doom desire that doesn't matter. You're dying now. You're literally dying like right now, so it's fine. Madam Purdy. Don't want to fight this dude, which means that I got to Tauros. Then block the edge. Then I got Tauros again. I don't remember where I need Tauros and where I don't need Tauros, which is going to cause problems. <laughs> oh, nice. That's perfect placement for one. That's awesome. Yeah, I just... I'll save my Verdant Cavern encounter for after we get to the spot that I want to get to. Because next episode will be Totem plus Legendary, more than likely. 
And totem's gonna be really quick totem because that's what this game likes, is this game has like that really quick totem. Hi, Mudsdale. Me, I don't wanna fight people. <laughs> Let me not fight people. Lily goes, oh my gosh, we're making it so far. And then it's a crow cut scene, and then we uh, champ. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I'm not feeling the greatest today. It's not good. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Cutscenes. Murkrows. But Murkrows are not like sparrows, so there's a difference. Oh, I did it! Oh my gosh! Well, speaking of doing it, um, I figure I get in this here because I'm not going to be fighting any trainers and it's literally just walking through Verdant Cavern. I said it again. No, this is what that is. This is what this called is Verdant Cavern. Oh, she just healed us up too. Nice. But yeah, since it's literally, I'm going to the Strength Rock is what I'm doing. But so I figure I can keep that off screen. It's fine. Um, and I won't get an encounter because I'll just use super repels and stuff to get through. So I'll probably have like four or five super repels left. But in the next episode of the Pokemon Sogluck, we will be uh, doing the the trainer row where there's like four trainers or three or four trainers, the back to back to back. And then the totem, the legendary, and Lusamine. So it's going to be not an easy episode at all. So be prepared for some craziness. But we'll see you guys then.